Hi folks, this is a quick video to show you how to export a movie file out of Toon Boom Harmony. Um, of course, you don't want to submit the entire Harmony file folder structure for your assignment because you need to export a movie and then upload that to YouTube. So there are two ways to do it. Um, this is the first one and it is to go to File, Export, Movie. Now this way they would tell you when I had my Toon Boom training that this is a buggier way to do it, but it is a little bit more straightforward. So I like to show beginners this method. Um, you can choose QuickTime Movie or H.264. You're then gonna click on Browse because you have to give it a name and tell it where to save to. And here's where it gets a little weird. So sometimes when you type in the file name, so I'll type Ball Bounce Golasso, and I'm gonna click save. Oh, and then you see what happens? It just went up a folder. I don't really know why it does that. So what I've been doing with this method is to just pick the folder itself, not put the name in yet, and then click save. And then I'm going to manually type the name in here. So ball bounce, the lasso. And you can see the full path to the file here still. Then you wanna to go to movie options. And the H.264 is great. Um, if you don't have sound, check it off. It'll make the file smaller. Um, but if you do have sound, right now the sample rate is at only 22 kilohertz, which is not good. So you want to click on settings. That's only like half quality. You want to do at least 44 kilohertz. That's CD quality sound. And if necessary, you can turn it into stereo. Um, it really doesn't matter unless you have some stereo sort of stuff going on in your sound. Then click OK. Then click OK again on this window. Then click OK a third time right here. And now it's going to export my movie. And I'm going to go, here's my file. And it gives me a QuickTime file, which I can then not only play, but I can also upload it to YouTube or Vimeo. Now, the second way to do it, which is the better way to do it, is over on the right. It's in the Node View window. If you don't have the Node View open, go to Windows, Node View. Then you will see all these different nodes. Um, these are all different parts of your file. So you want to find the right node, W-R-I-T-E. Okay, and click on the little yellow box. And this is where you do the settings. Now, a lot of beginners make the mistake of thinking this says name here. And so they'll go into here and type. But watch what happens when I hit enter. I actually just changed the name of the node itself. So you don't want to do that. Let's change it back to right. And then we have to choose where it's going to save to because we want to be able to find it. So I'm going to go to my computer and my external hard drive. Ball bounce. And I'm going to click choose for the right directory. And here um, where it says movie file name, that's where you type the file name in the movie. So that would be ball bounce underscore my last name. And then from there, I think by default, it's set to drawing. Drawing will give you a series of still images. You don't want that. You want to go to movie file and uncheck drawing. And then click customize. <clears throat> and then H.264 is great. Same thing. This one I already was messing with. So it's set to the 44 kilohertz. Then I'm going to click OK. And then I want to show you something that happens. It's happened to me many times where when I put these settings in and then I switched it to movie, it kind of, um, oh, it didn't do it this time. So sometimes it can zero out all of your settings. Um, so always double check after you switch to movie to make sure these things are still correct. Um, then it's just kind of strange, but You've put all the settings in and you're just going to hit close. Um, but that has not exported the movie. All that's done is to permanently save your export settings into the file itself. So anytime I export again, it'll always have these right settings in it. So now I can, now that I set that up once and forever in this particular file, I can go to File, Export, Render, Write Nodes. So by Write Nodes, it means this W-R-I-T-E, Write Node. So I hit render and then I hit okay. And then I'm gonna overwrite the movie that I already saved with the exact same name. 
and now you can see that the file is exported and you have a QuickTime that is now ready to be uploaded to YouTube or some other platform.